So not that long ago, I did a review of a robotic vacuum by a company called Kaival. Do you remember that? Well, another company saw that and they sent me their robotic vacuum to do a review. So that's what we're going to look at today. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. And one more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social medias, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's go see if this Golangel, or however you pronounce it, G-O-L-O-N-G-E-L-E, -E, um, vacuum is any good. All right, so let's unbox this. I think it's pronounced Golangel Smart sweeping robot. All right, so in here, I have a set of directions, which are always needed, I'll check that out later. All right, so then I have the unit itself wrapped in a plastic bag, cool. Looks pretty nice, got an on off button here. It looks like an infrared sensor right there, that's kind of cool. All right, so turn it over, I've got like a mopping piece, I'll probably take that off. All right, so out of the box, I've got my power supply, my charging base. I have one, two, three, four of these sweepers, that's good. I've got a remote control, an extra HEPA filter, and an extra mopping cloth. Oh, not to mention I have a cleaning piece. So I'm really excited to check this out. Let me read through the directions and see what I have to do first. The directions tell us we need to charge this for 12 hours first. I'm actually gonna just plug it directly in with the plug. I like this feature where I can either plug it into the plug or I can have the base hooked up and have it charged that way, but I'm gonna have it plugged into the plug for 12 hours before we put this to our first test. We are fully charged and ready to go. Let's install our side sweepers. All right, so I've got this one. I love that they have it on both sides because anywhere this goes, it sweeps in the debris and brings it right in here. I'm gonna take this part off. This is the, um, the mop part. I'm not gonna use that. So, I'm gonna go downstairs, set this thing up, and let this thing go. I'm gonna let this thing run every day for a month just to see how it does. I just wanted to show you what it looked like over a period of time. Now this video actually took 20 minutes to film on this time lapse. Um, this is on the auto setting, so it goes all over the room in random formation. Um, but the cool thing is it really does get to every part of the floor and leaves it completely clean. All right, so this little unit lets you know that it needs to um, have the hopper changed and it'll it'll give you a little noise just like that, that little jing, jingle noise. And so you to change this on, you push this button down and it releases here. You do wanna make sure you would turn this off because I've actually, um, I've actually re taken this out to replace it and then it's taken off on me. So make sure you turn it off. You can either turn it off by that button up there or the switch underneath. Anyway, so you just pop this out Try and do it one-handed, sorry. There it is. And then all of your debris is gonna be inside here. And I, I empty this every couple days, so to give you an idea of what it's doing, let me open up this. You're getting a good bit of dirt in there. So it's actually pretty impressive the amount that it's cleaning. So now what I'm gonna do is go dump this out. I'm gonna go set this back up and we'll run a few tests on it. All right, so this has a setting called powerful and it's supposed to just clean a specific area. So let's see what happens if I click that. It looks like it's picking up the Cheerios okay. It even got a few of the almonds. Left the Cheerio over there. Let's see what happens. All right, well, it's getting it. It's pretty impressive. 
I think I had about five or six almonds and there's one left there and maybe that cherry over there. But I like this feature because I can set it right here and just keep cleaning this area a little bit and hopefully get all the pieces. So it just finished its powerful setting here. If I hit this return button, it should send itself right back to the base. Let's see. Right there it goes. Now they do recommend that you have about two feet on either side open. I've kept this ottoman over top and haven't had any trouble, but there you have it. So tell me, what do you think about this robotic vacuum? Is this something that you would use in your house? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. All right, so here is my Galongol robot vacuum. I've been using this for almost a month now, and I wanted to show you the wear and tear on it over that month. First things first, let's talk about the filter. So I do clean this out from time to time, but look at this, right? That's the filter and this is what it looked like new. So it definitely filters out pretty well. You can clean these out um, and they do have a spare with you. So that's good to know. And then I also want to show you the uh, brush on the bottom. So it's one thing to show you the brush is brand new, but after about a month's worth of use, this is what they start to look like. They get frayed. Let me see if I can pop this off. So they get frayed and they pull away. So just so you know, after use, this is what they're supposed to look like. See how the brushes are tight? So that's why they give you one. They give you actually two extras, but you can buy um, additional ones. I did want to point this out. On typical vacuums, they actually have a roller here where this just sucks in the dirt and debris. And I was able to get things like Cheerios and almonds in there. And I didn't, honestly, I didn't think I was gonna like it because it didn't have the roller, but I actually like it because it doesn't have the roller because I'm not digging in that roller trying to get things unstuck. All right, so let's talk about this robotic vacuum. As with most products, there are pros and there are cons. So let's talk about the things that I didn't like a whole lot. Well, I didn't like that I had to almost barricade my room so the vacuum wouldn't leave the environment. And other vacuums and other robotic vacuums, they're like magnetic strips you can put down and the vacuum approaches the magnetic strip and stops and turns. Well, this particular one does not. And that's a little frustrating because I find it in room to room and maybe it would get stuck. And so I, I had a pre-plan where I was going to have it to vacuum and shut doors and such. Something I could live with. Um, two, I didn't like that I could not program a time for it to go. So hypothetically, I go to sleep at 11. Maybe I want this thing firing up at one o'clock and vacuum. I just couldn't do that. It's one of those things I had to push, um, play or start to do the vacuuming. So those are some of the cons. Now, what are some of the pros? You know what, I said it earlier. I didn't think I was gonna like not having the roller, but I really liked not having the roller because that vacuum um, tube, the suction, it was really powerful. Almonds and Cheerios, it just did a great job. I like the different features. One of the things I really like is I like how it has the spinning brushes on both sides. That is ultra key for keeping things clean. Pl plus, it doesn't have to spin around if it only has one on one side to get into a corner. I like the ease, how it took to dump it out, and that's pretty easy. Um, in the video, maybe it looked a little more difficult because I was doing it one-handed. I also like that this thing would stop and make a noise if it was full. Other ones I've tested, um, that didn't happen. Um, I do like how this has a homing beacon when it needs a charge, and it goes home. If you're interested in this, I will leave a link down in the description, but this was my review of the Galangel Robotic Vacuum. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. In this video, we were looking at a robotic vacuum. I should have said it does have a mopping feature where it has like a chamois pad or something that you get wet and mop. Not something I would use, so I didn't necessarily test it out. I just wanted you to know that. I did reference the other robotic vacuum that I reviewed. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up on here. And so by the magic of the internet, when you click this link right here, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it. It's safe, I promise.